This is the program explanation for the center of gravity calculation. The center of gravity basically is saying where is the center of action for the mass or weight of the go-kart. I have no idea what just happened here. It looks like it wants me to change my picture. Basically what's going on here though is the center of action of the go-kart is going up and down through this general area. And what we're trying to determine is when we put our front wheels in this general location here, what's going to happen to the go-kart? Is it going to go spinning out of control or what? So the idea is that you get the weight of all the components. As you see, we have an engine of 40 pounds, a person of 165, a front tire, and so forth. All the weights put together and added up. We also have the weights of every component of the go-kart, the tubes. For instance, I have the labeled tube 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way down to 10. There's tube seat. Everything about the go-kart has been taken into account from a weight standpoint. And the total weight of the go-kart here is 375 pounds. That does include the weight of a person. The actual weight of the frame is 210 pounds. So from there, to actually calculate the center of gravity, we're using this rear wheel as our moment of action or our moment. We're going to sum all the data around the rear wheels. And that we call it summing the moments. And so if you see, I have distances clocked out for each one of these. And these particular uh, dimensions shown right here are actually for the, um, the tubes and each component. And if you were to take a close look at this spreadsheet, you'd see that each component has a position. For instance, this one says 60 inches. That's tube number one, which is way out here. This is 60 inches. You can't really see it, but that's what it is. So it's 60 inches from the rear wheels right here. So you sum them all, and as you see, there's actually some negatives and some positives. The negatives are the ones that are behind the wheels. Everything that is going in this general direction, right-hand rule, going this direction, as the motion of this mouse, is positive. Anything on the other side is negative. It would actually have to go this direction the weight of it would be pulling this direction. So it would be a negative. There's very limited negatives. You have the muffler and all the tubes that are behind the rear wheel. This stuff back here is negative signs. Everything else is positive. So you add them all together. You put your special sign on there which regulates uh, whether it's being added or subtracted. And then you add all the moments together and this is the sum of the moments right here. That's all fine and dandy. What it comes down to is that this will calculate how much weight is over your front wheels and over your back wheels. You have 185 pounds over your front and 190 over the rear. That's what you want ideally. Now let's say we throw a 200 pound person in there and run calculate. You can see that we have a 50-50 weight distribution. It's right on the money. Say you get somebody who's even heavier like a 250 pound person. What does that do? Well it seems to have not moved it very much. Let's do it again. Let's do 300 pounds. And it it starts, as you can see, it starts to put more weight over the front wheel. So it's pretty versatile as far as weight is concerned. You can have like a 150 pound person in there. And it's really close to where it should be as far as weight is concerned. This is the explanation for, let's put it back, 165 is where we were. Uh, this is the explanation of the program for all the tubes. As you see, I actually have the tubes in the frame numbered, and that's how I uh, used it in this program.